Which Beatle had the most difficult childhood? Let's start with John Lennon. So Julia, Mother, and Working Class Hero are three song cycles that John Lennon wrote in the late 1960s and the early 1970s that detailed the traumatic experiences he endured as a youngster. His first solo album is one long therapy session to help him overcome his deeply ingrained mental health issues. Nevertheless, John's emotional suffering did not impact Paul at the beginning of their friendship. Now let's move on to Paul. When Paul moved to Mendips, he entered a different social milieu, one in which the term auntie was used interchangeably with aunt, and the bookcases were stocked with books and artwork. Up until this time, his only experience had been in council housing. In his own family, there had been a tragedy not too long ago. His beloved mother had passed away due to cancer that had rapidly spread through her body. In the days before professional counseling for loss, Paul and his brother were counseled not to wallow in their sorrow over what had happened. On the other hand, the McCartneys were considered to be doing well regarding their financial situation. The typical slum housing in the inner city had been vastly improved when they moved to their new council home. Now let's move to George. Paul McCartney and George Harrison had both hailed from working class families and were getting by, so to speak. His early youth was spent in a modest dwelling with an outhouse for bathroom facilities. When the Harrison family moved into the council house in 1950, it marked a significant improvement in their living conditions, which had been previously quite cramped because six people had to share two beds. George did not have to go through the ordeal of losing a parent like Paul while he was a child. And on the other hand, George's roots in the working class were more obvious in certain aspects of his life than in Paul's. This was due in part to the fact that he did not possess his bandmate's social polish or aspirational ambition. John described him as a bloody kid, referring to the fact that he was the youngest Beatle who would become one. This was more important than his position in the social class hierarchy in his early age. When George finally joined the Quarrymen, he was just 14 years old. At this stage, he had already begun to show disinterest in school. Mimi did not approve of him in the slightest. She took particular exception at his awkward social manners and, most of all, his robust Scouse accent. He's very dose, John, which she referred to as very dosage. Ringo. Ringo has never given the impression to the outside world that he is a naturally sunny sort or that he umps in the road of his existence. This has concealed a childhood filled with Dickensian adversity that caused the others to be grateful for what they had. While he was still a young man, Richard Starkey did not make it to Mendips at this time. He did not meet the other Beatles until much later in Hamburg. Given the legendary reputation of the Dingle, the region where he originated, there is no question that Aunt Mimi would have buried the spoons if he had done so. Mimi would have also been taken aback by the young Starkey's physical appearance, which revealed clear signs of his poverty and severe ill health. This would have been another thing that would have shocked Mimi. Ringo quickly gained the abilities necessary for survival due to his upbringing in one of the city's most dangerous neighborhoods. In later statements, he would add that you had to learn to keep your eyes down while yet watching what was going on. So, what were your thoughts on today's video? Which Beatle do you think had the most difficult childhood? Please let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Keep an eye out for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.